In week two of the 2006 season, the Detroit Lions will be taking on the Chicago Bears, who are coming off a tough loss to the Green Bay Packers in week one. The Bears might only have Rex Grossman at quarterback, but they still have one of the better defenses in the NFL as well. Scoring on them is going to be a task that I'm not quite sure we're up to. Looking at last week's Players of the Week, Plexico Bears had 326 yards and three touchdowns on seven catches against the Colts, while Mark Roman had six tackles, a pick six, and a fumble recovery against the Bears. As for the AFC, Fred Taylor ran for a buck 94 and three touchdowns on 32 carries, while James Ferrier had five tackles, two sacks, a pick, and a forced fumble. Aaron Brooks was the horse trailer player of the week, which is the player of the week in every week's Monday night game. And I totally forgot to go over the two players that I ended up cutting last week, which were Cleveland Pinckney, who was a defensive tackle, and Vernon Fox, who was a free safety. Prior to the game, I ended up making a move where I traded wide receiver Charles Rogers over to the New York Jets in exchange for tight end Joel Driesen and a six round pick. Without further ado, let's get into this matchup over in Soldier Field, and it's a really foggy looking game, really nasty looking out, as we look to improve to 2-0 against our division rival Chicago Bears. The Packers took care of business against the Saints while the Vikings ended up losing to the Panthers, so we have a chance to stay with Green Bay in first place if we can beat the Bears. Back to return this kick is going to be Devin Hester, and you know how dangerous he can be, but he was still dangerous back in the day, and there's a tackle by Harris. I feel like getting tackled by a kicker is like sacrilege when it comes to return men, but oh well. Here's Rex Grossman throwing left side. He's going to find Mark Bradley for the first. Now it's going to be a new set of downs as here's a handoff to Thomas Jones and he back jukes twice, doesn't get very far. Gains about five actually, so now it's going to be second and five. Grossman will drop back this time. Rolls right, throws to his left, and he finds a wide open Desmond Clark for the first down. So the Bears are in Lions territory now as Grossman takes a snap, throws left side, that's going to be caught by Justin Gage for the first. We're having some problems covering these Bears receivers so far as Rexy drops back, throws right side. That's going to be caught by Moosin Muhammad, who's inside the 15. We are absolutely not able to stop this passing game so far as they'll hand it off to Thomas Jones this time, and he's going to be tackled at the one-yard line. Just been a great drive for the Bears offense so far. Hand off to Jones, and this time he's going to be blown up in the backfield. He loses a yard in the play. That'll lead to a third and two. Grossman will throw this time. Throws right side, and that's nearly picked off by Kanoe Kennedy, but instead the Bears will settle for three here as Peterson's going to make it a 3 nothing game for Chicago. So now we're on the field on offense for the first time as Kevin Jones gets the handoff. He's going to run right side, and he picks up about seven. Second and three now, and Josh McCown will drop back to throw this time. He rolls to his right, trying to find somebody, but he just holds onto it way too long. And now it's a third and 14 as McCown will drop back. Looks left side and he's going to be brought down for the sack again. Our offensive line just sold on him there and we go three and out. So now here are the Bears as Jones gets the handoff, picking up a few yards. Okay, he got eight. Eight's not really a few, but anyway, second and two now. Jones to the right side this time and Kennedy tackles him, but he still picks up the first. This could be a long day if we can't stop this Bears offense here as Sexy Rexy drops back, throws right side, finds Bradley. That'll be a six-yard gain. Grossman was actually hurt on the last play, so in comes Brian Greasy now. He'll throw left side. He finds Justin Gage. Fernando Bryant just overruns it, and it's a first down. Our defense really isn't doing a good job against this Bears offense, to say the very least, but here we do a good job as Kevin Jones is brought down in the backfield. Second and 11 now as Greasy remains in the game. Here's a handoff to Jones and Sean Cody with a big hit to him. That'll be a loss of three. So now it's going to be third and 14 with under two minutes to go in the first quarter, and Cody jumps off sides. I probably shouldn't have switched from him, but anyways, now it's third and nine instead of third and 14, and those few yards are going to matter as here's Desmond Clark picking up the first down. And it's a game of inches, folks, as they say, as here's a handoff to Thomas Jones, who breaks away from Rodgers and picks up a few yards. Second and six now, as here's Greasy handing it off. And Jones this time is blown up in the backfield. Welcome back, Teddy Lehman. That'll lead to a third and nine as Grossman is now back into the game. And he throws over the right side and it's going to be tipped away. Clutch play there by Kennedy. And now Peterson will come out for his second field goal attempt of the game. Kick is up and it is good. So the Bears take a 6-0 lead. 
So now we're back on offense, facing a third and ten. Here's McCown dropping back. Throws right side, but it's just over the head of Roy Williams. Two drives and two three and out so far for the Lions offense. As here's a handoff to Thomas Jones. He's going nowhere. As Sean Cody's injured now, that would be a tough loss for us if he doesn't come back. Second and nine now. As here's Grossman under center handing off to Jones. He has plenty of space. And he shakes off Kennedy and he gets across midfield into Lions territory. That's how well in the first quarter. Bears up 6 0. So now second and 10 as we enter the second quarter. Grossman will drop back. Hit as he throws and that's nearly picked off. We really need that one. But now it's going to be third and 10. Grossman again throws over the middle and just overthrows his intended target. And Grossman is injured on the play once again. The Bears ended up punting it back to us, so now we have a chance to do something offensively. Here's McCown, throw left side, caught by Mike Williams for a short gain. Negative nine yards so far for the Lions as McCown will hand it off to Jones. He's only going to pick up a couple of yards here. Now it's going to be third and three as McCown will fake the handoff. Looks left side, and it's going to be dropped by Mike Williams. So that's three drives and three three and outs for us so far as the Bears get the football back. Thomas Jones right up the middle. He gains about nine. Third and one now, and here's a handoff. Thomas Jones, he runs over Fernando Bryant and picks up the first down. So new set of downs for Chicago as once again our defense isn't doing a whole lot. As Jones breaks a tackle, breaks another one, breaks a third one, and now Jones is gone. He just broke three tackles from our defense. And he's going to run all the way for the touchdown. Good Lord. This has just been a rough game so far, to say the very least. We're facing a third and eight here. And McCown throws over the middle. That's nearly picked off by Brian Urlacher. So it's four drives, three, three and outs. As here's Grossman throwing left side. He's going to let it fly to a wide open Mark Bradley. And Sean Rogers was actually off sides, but it's not going to matter. Just nothing going right on either side of the football for us. Here's the counter to Jones. He breaks the tackle from Bailey, and Jones with another big run. Thomas Jones is absolutely just brutalizing us right now as Grossman will drop back. Throws left side, and he's going to be intercepted. Ernie Sims, the rookie at FSU, makes a huge play. We really needed that one, but now we're facing another third down here as McCown is hit as he throws, and it's a diving grab by Roy Williams, but he's not going to get the first. So, once again, another three and out. That's number five in the game so far. And that one's nearly picked off, but we're going to get called for roughing the passer. And I want you all to watch this play and be objective when you come up with your opinion. Does this look like roughing the passer to you? Let me know in the comments section. Well, after that terrible call, the Bears have the ball near in midfield as Grossman throws left side. That's going to be caught by Gage just short of the marker. Second and inches now. As Grossman drops back, we send the blitz, and James Hall gets to him. We're finally getting some good defensive plays here as the Bears end up punting it to us. Here's McCown looking right side under pressure, and he throws it deep, and that's going to be caught by Scotty Vines, who's been quiet so far in this one. And that's actually our first first down of the game so far. Here's McCown on the play fake. Throws right side. It's going to be caught by Vines again, who's in the Bears' territory. Vines has been an absolute beast so far this season. He's coming through for us, but this time our O-line sells on McCown. He's brought down for the sack. And we're just going to throw the Hail Mary here with four seconds to go. And they're going to bring the blitz, and we get the ball off. It's a turnover on downs, but now the Bears have one second to do something with it. So they're going to throw a Hail Mary instead. Grossman lets it fly right side, and it's going to be broken up. Thank the Lord. And we go into the half down 13 to nothing. We just have to play better offensively in the second half. We get a good return to open up the second half from Eddie Drummond. So now here's McCown rolling to his left. Throws left side, and it's going to be tipped away on third down. Same song, different chorus so far in this second half. As here's a handoff to Jones. Nope, it's a play fake from Grossman, and he's going to find Gage over the middle. Now he's going to cough it up, however. It's going to be picked up by Ernie Sims, and we have the ball in Bears territory once again. Maybe it's just the FSU bias, but I love me some Ernie Sims as McCown drops back. Put throw left side to Mike Williams. That'll be a very manageable second and goal. Here's the pitch out to Jones. He tries to get outside. He gets laid down for a loss. We really need to come up with a conversion here on third and two as McCown drops back. And he does it for the Vines as Scotty Vines makes the grab for the first. 
I just have a really good feeling that Scotty Vines is going to be the star of this series. As McCown throws outside, he's going to be picked off. Daniel Manning with the pick. And just as soon as we start doing something well offensively, McCown throws a pick. Gotta love it. Here's Grossman throwing over the middle, and he's nearly picked off. At least our defense is starting to do something here as we get the football back after a three and out. McCown looks to his left, rolling to his left, and he's going to be brought down for the sack. We need to do a better job of getting rid of the football in those situations. But now here's Sean Bryson checking into the game, and Bryson gets a pretty nice run. So now it's going to be third and long as McCown runs some play action, throws down the field to nobody in particular, and we're punting again. So now third and five here, three minutes to go in the third quarter. Here's Grossman under pressure, throws over the middle, and he finds Bernard Berrien for the first down. We really need to get another stop here as it's a second and eight handoff to Jones. He's going to get a nice run as Teddy Lehman gets pancaked there. That's going to be a new set of downs for the Bears as it's second and ten now. And Grossman drops back, throws right side. That's going to be picked off. Teddy Lehman comes up with a pick and he's running down the left sideline and he is going to be gone. Huge pick six to make this a one score game. I mean, that man got pancaked a few plays ago, but then he comes up with a huge play like this. And even though Rocky Commons played well in week one, I'm glad to have Teddy Lehman back in the lineup. We're no longer getting shut out here, so now it's third and ten for the Bears as Grossman is going to be hit as he throws. That's incomplete. So now we're back on offense facing a third and eight. McCown looks to throw the screen to Calhoun. He has plenty of space in front of him, but the blocking doesn't get in front of him. And we have to punt yet again. This game is pretty much going the way I thought it would, where we're just struggling to do much on offense. And here's Thomas Jones just running through our defense, picking up the first down. First and 10 now, as here's Jones on the counter, and Lehman drops him in the backfield. So now we'll head to the fourth quarter with the Bears holding a 13-7 lead, but anything can happen in the fourth. Second and 13 now as the Bears look to close this game out. Here's a handoff to the other Adrian Peterson who gets a few yards. Third and 10 now for the Bears as they're back to the original line of scrimmage. And they just give it to Jones and Sean Rogers blows that one up. And now we get the football back with under six minutes to go. Here's McCown looking over the middle. He's going to find Williams for the first down. That's Roy Williams. I got to specify which Williams it is from play to play as McCown drops back. Throws it back to Roy again, and Erlocker with a big hit on him. Second and three now after a seven-yard gain. Here's a handoff to Jones. He takes it outside, and he picks up the first down. So new set of downs, five minutes to go in the game. Here's McCown looking right side, and there he is. Scotty Vines just short of the marker. Four catches, 52 yards for the budding star receiver. Here's a handoff to Jones on the counter, and Erlocker with a big hit in the backfield. That leads to a third and three as McCown. Takes a snap, throws right side to Corey Schlesinger, the fullback. He breaks the tackle, and Schlesh gets inside the 20 up to the 16. Second and nine, McCown drops back, looking, and he's going to throw underneath to Schlesinger again, and he's going to be tackled at about the six. We are two of 11 on third down so far in this game, and you can make that three at 12 as McCown picks up the first on the QB sneak. So first and goal now, McCown. Under center, throws left side to Mike Williams, and he makes the grab this time for the touchdown. And we take a 14-13 lead as the Bears take the ball back. And here's Thomas Jones right up the middle in the Lions territory, getting past the 40. Third and 10 now as Grossman drops back. He's going to throw the left side. He's going to find Justin Gage, who's tackled just short of the marker. But they're in range of Todd Peterson for this 46-yard field goal. Kick is up, and it's good, and the Bears take the lead back. But plenty of time for us to get down the field and get a field goal of our own as Jones is brought down in the backfield on first down. Third and 13 now as McCown drops back, looking down the field, looking for Williams, and he's going to be picked off as he's hit as he throws that one. Danielle Manning gets his second pick of the game. And now the Bears have a chance to just run the clock down here. Hand off to Jones. He bounces off of Bryant. Coughs up the football, and it's going to be picked up by the Bears. They got really lucky there as we hit the two-minute warning. Hand off to Jones up the middle this time. He's tackled just short of the marker. Third and inches now. And here's a hand off to Jones. He's going to pick up the first down, and he gets up to the two-yard line. So now we really need to get a stop here and we'll have like a little bit of time to do something. But Brian Johnson, the fullback, is going to get into the end zone for the touchdown. 
Now, fourth and ten for us, 115 to go. We're down by nine. It ain't looking too good. And McCown just goes down for the sack. And McCown's actually injured on the play. He'd actually be all right, but it doesn't matter. The Bears win this one, 23 to 14. It was just a really pedestrian performance from our offense as a whole. And we just got to go back to the drawing board. Looking at the stats, Josh McCown went 13 of 30, 110 yards, one touchdown, two picks. Kevin Jones only 26 yards on 14 carries. Scotty Vines, four catches, 52 yards. Teddy Lehman with nine tackles, three TFLs, and a pick in his first game back. Ernie Sims, six tackles, one TFL, and a pick. Hall, seven tackles, one TFL, and a sack. We allowed Thomas Jones to run for 212 yards and a touchdown on us. And Daniel Manning had two picks. Both are just not stats that we want our opponents to have at all. But overall, it's kind of how I expected it to be. I knew it was going to be a struggle to score on this team. I just didn't think their offense would be as potent as it was throughout the game. But our defense made some stops as well. We got some turnovers. It just wasn't enough to really get us where we needed to go. And at the end of the day, our offense has to play a lot better regardless of who we're playing against. Weekly awards go to Tatum Bell and Gerald Sensabaugh in the AFC. And in the NFC, Thomas Jones and Jeff Ulbrich are the players of the week. And as far as the horse trailer, Sensabaugh gets it because he played on Monday. John Kitten is not very happy about having to sit behind Josh McCown. And we might end up having to trade him somewhere if he continues to complain. But let me know in the comment section if you think I should trade him, where I should trade him if you think I should trade him, or if I should just start him over McCown. Our next matchup is going to be against the Packers, who are 2-0 on the season. They're coming off a big win last week against the Saints, whereas the Bears and Vikings actually play against each other, so it could be possible that this game could be for first place and the NFC North. We'll just have to see how it goes.